Okay, we're going to uh, do a little bit with the signet and then we're going to hollow it out. Uh, uh, two simple ways to hollow it out. First thing we need to do is go to our tools menu, go to ring reel, hit enter, and we'll just leave it a size 7, but you can change it of course to any size you want. And then we'll just go to our signet builder and it'll automatically throw it up there. Now there's a lot of things you can do. You can adjust the height. Uh, you can uh, ad adjust the, the shape and you can adjust the width of it and we'll just go ahead and I don't know make it something like that it doesn't really matter for this demonstration uh, and also if you wanted to you can come down here and uh, adjust the the thickness of the ring and or the thickness and the width of the ring. So we'll just go ahead and do something like this and just enter. Uh, now we don't need all this yellow lines anymore, so we're just going to uh, delete delete those. So pick our yellow and hit delete. Oh wait, so okay. So pick our yellow and hit delete. Delete. Oh my God. Uh, pick our yellow, delete, there we go. Broke history, but it's okay, because it's not really what we're what looking for. So we have our signet ring, and as you can tell, it's a uh, it's a closed surface with a 7.88 uh, penny weight. So we want to lighten that up a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is go to front view. And we're going to our curve menu and pick our line, and we'll switch that to a cutter. And we'll start at F4. And if you want it just halfway, if you want to just do the top, hollow the the top part out. If you want to hollow half the ring out, but we're going to go down a little bit further here, and we'll pick it. I don't know something like right in there. So it'll be hollow uh, from here on around. So we're going to take this and we're going to uh, go to solid menu go to extrude straight curve from planar and we'll uh, check it out here okay about right there is good and then what we're going to do from here is we're going to take that one and we're going to mirror it from F4 over to the other side okay so really simple and from here what we're going to do is we're going to take the ring and we're going to uh, split the ring with our two planar curves and hit enter. And then we don't need our planar curves anymore so we'll delete those and we'll take this, switch it to another layer and just turn it off just for being able to see a little bit better. Okay, we have our ring, signet ring. Of course, right now it's a it's a hollow ring, so we want to cap those. So uh, all you have to do is come down here to the command line, uh, C A P, enter. What do we want to cap, and then enter. And now we have a solid closed surface. All right. So from here, what we want to do, very easy, is uh, go to our shell command. Uh, shell command is, uh, let's see, I, th I think it's in the, I'm not sure exactly where it's at on top. I think it's in the, the tools menu, or the, the solid menu, actually. Uh, solid shell. You can type shell in down here with like I did, or you can type shell in search, and it'll put it, there it is, right there, shell. Uh, you can click there too as well. And now it tells us to pick the surface. Uh, it'll work on this surface because we have a straight line. If it was a rounded edge, it, it would not work. You have to do a little bit more extra steps. Uh, but for this one, uh, it's just pick that side, pick this side here, so it's got the inside rails, or the inside of the ring. Uh, we'll just leave it at a 0.75. That's fine and then hit enter so everything will be a 0.75 at this point so it's a 0.75 and if you turn it into wire mode you can see that everything's cut out and we still have a closed solid surface 
So from here, we want to put that shank back on. Very simple. Take our ring, go ahead to explode, and those caps that we put on, just delete. We don't need those anymore because we're going to bring back our shank that we cut out, and we're going to take the whole thing and then join it together. And now we have our finished solid surface. So it went from seven penny weight down to around three penny weight. So that's a huge difference. And everything's fine. It, you're good to go. You can make adjustments on that. Of course you'll have to watch your depths and everything, but uh, it's a uh, perfectly solid surface. Now, there is another way to do it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll back up, go back, back here okay so we have our saw we'll again take that and hide it because we'll need it for later so we have our surface it's open we want to cap this uh, C A P enter and now we have a solid surface okay now what we're going to do from here is we're going to take our ring and duplicate it in place very easy. So we have two of them. We're going to take one of them, put it on a cutter layer, and we're just going to take the green one and store it over here in our job bag because we'll need that later. So we have our, and then we're going to delete this one because we don't need it right now. We have it saved right here. So we have our uh, cutter that we're going to use, the exact shape of the ring that we had. Now from here, you're going to have to go to the transform men menu and then all the way at the very end, cage editing and cage edit. Uh, select object to for control points. Oh, uh, global. Uh, well, let's take that back. Let's go back. Don't want that. Let's abort that command. Okay, so we'll do it again and we'll go to uh, cage edit in the first one here, cage edit, and we'll go down here, bounding box is what we want, we want to leave it on the world, and we'll just leave the control points there, that's fine, and hit enter, enter. So there we have it. Now there's two ways to do this, we can do it through the bounding box, or we can do it through the, uh, just clicking, so first I'm going to go back again, and get rid of the cage edit, and we're just going to take this, and we'll go to our front view right here and we're going to drag that in this is not as specific as the other one that y we were working on so you have to kind of adjust it uh, how you you think it's best but you can still see the outside shape of the ring and from here we want to go to side so right side and we'll click on our ring and you, all you have to do is grab these points and drag, drag them in to where you think. And uh, actually, if you want to, you can just bring a ring back out and you can kind of see where it's going. If you go to wire mode, you can kind of see the thickness that you're going to get. Uh, but we're going to uh, go back to our solid. And we'll just go ahead and delete that again because uh, we'll go ahead and I got three of them out there, so let's get rid of all of them because we don't need any of them for right now. And now, from our front view, uh, we'll still get those solid. A lot of people don't like it being straight, so we're going to. I'm going to show you how to make it a little bit more rounded. So now we'll go to our cage to edit. Uh, put on our cage to edit. Go to bounding box. Go to wor world, and we'll just leave the count the same. There we go. And now, <coughs> you can see if we cut it, it's going to leave those edges. So what you can do is you can take these points and just drag them in and even drag them up, okay? And same thing over here, uh, drag them in, kind of the same place that you can get it there. Second one, right around there, and then drag it up. Uh, kind of getting it as close as you can to the other one and then hit enter or I should say escape because we don't need this anymore we'll delete that now we'll bring out our ring and if you look at it in wire mode you can see that it's going to 
make a nice little cut out of there and we'll go to perspective and change it to a side and we'll just go to wire mode and you can see how it's going to cut you can see it's a little I don't know off in there maybe so what you can do is you can just select that and drag it up a little bit if you want or arrange it wherever you want we'll go back to our view here and now what you can do is you can go to boolean difference because they're both solids this is a solid closed surface and this is a solid closed surface so you can do a, a boolean difference so we'll sec select our main ring here and we'll hit enter we'll select our cutter and hit enter and there you go there's the solid surface okay so let's just do delete that take this explode it take our surface here delete it take our surface here delete it and now we still okay this one delete all right there's our ring and it's a closed surface and now it's down to 3.44 but we haven't added that shank in so we take it and we'll explode it take this surface uh, delete delete there's some extra surfaces on there you can do it over here you can check for double objects or whatever bring back our uh, bottom of our shank that's going to be solid go to there hit enter and now we have a solid Okay, well, why is it open? Something's oh, okay. Well, we can go up here to analyze, go to tools, go to edges, and it'll show oh, that one. Okay. I forgot to join that together and now we have a closed service it's ready to go and it's hollow and as you can tell it's not the straight edge it's a nice little round edge there and there you go that's all it takes